Instead of using two servos to control each half of the beak separately, we use only one servo with the mechanism. The mechanism uses popsicle sticks with holes in it to change the rotational movement of the servo into linear movement to push the beak open. When the servo is in its default position, the beak is in overbite closed. When the servo moves to the middle, the beak is pushed open. When the servo moves down, the beak is in underbite closed. Let's try and represent what a servo would look like and what its angles would be. So starting at the very top, this would be a 90 degree angle. Here it's 180 degrees and at the bottom it's 270 degrees. When the servo is at 90 degrees, that's when Roe Bird's beak is pulled tight, so it's not open. When it's at 180 degrees, that's when Roe Bird's beak is open, and then when it's at 270 degrees, that's when it's closed and it's an underbite. We can represent the function of the angle versus the x distance and x distance is just how far away the end of the servo arm is so like say right here to the center point where it's moving from let's just start off at 90 degrees here um, and we're only going to be taking the x component so basically the height won't matter here it's only how far away it is going this way so to orient ourselves this way will be positive x and up here will be positive y but we don't really care about y that much only x so for 90 degrees it's at zero so we can draw that right there and then it slowly moves uh, when it goes to 180 up to its maximum point here and then when it goes back down to 270 then it just goes back to zero so what this actually is is just a sine function the beak is pushed open when the x distance is at its greatest so right there if we ever needed to know like the complete distance from this point going to Robo Bird's beak wherever it is over here then we can sort of create a function of it. We can start off with uh, figuring out what the distance is of the servo arm from the center point, and that would just be the cosine of the angle since we only want the x component. So we take the cosine theta, and we also want to be able to add on whatever popsicle stick length is attached to the servo arm. So say for Roe Bird there's also a popsicle stick and there's also another popsicle stick, then we can just add on whatever this length is here. So we'll call this um, attaching popsicle stick length. We also need to account for this popsicle stick servo arm addition. In some cases yours might be quite longer than the servo arm, or it might not, so all that we have to do is multiply this cosine by that angle, so times the cosine of this angle, and then we add the attaching popsicle stick length, and that will give you the distance from the center point to Roe Bird's beak. So you might sort of be wondering what each of these values does to this function. So the popsicle servo arm length, when that's being multiplied by the cosine of theta, all that's doing is changing the amplitude of the function. So imagine this is the normal scenario where this variable would be 1. If it's greater than 1, 
then the amplitude will go up higher. If it's less than one, then the amplitude will be less, like that. So it's really only changing this aspect of it. When we're adding the attaching popsicle stick length, then that's just changing the base value of the function. So imagine that this is a normal sine wave that sort of looks funny. Um, <laughs> then if we add something that's uh, greater than zero, then it will start up like this. If we add something that's less than zero, then it will start down like this. So it's really only changing like the base values of the function. And that is how you can express RoboBird in math. The way it is implemented on RoboBird is by having a popsicle stick with a hole in it attached to the servo arm. Each half of the beak has a popsicle stick attached through the centerpiece. These popsicle sticks then join together at the hole in the popsicle servo arm. So to sum up, Roebird's beak mechanism translates rotational movement into linear movement to push the beak open and pull the beak closed to an overbite or underbite position.